This is episode three of What Can You Cut With Your Cricut? And we've added another tool to the lineup, the scoring tool. I bought this tool to make gift boxes, but I didn't think that sounded exciting enough to show you guys. We all know how to fold and glue. So what I do wanna show you is this really cool free website that I use to design my gift boxes. The website is templatemaker.nl. I heard about it on TikTok, so I'll post the creator in the caption. It has every single box, some I've never heard of before, and when you choose the one that you want, you can edit all the dimensions. The picture on the left explains what the dimensions are, and the picture on the right shows you what your box is looking like as you design it. Once you've got it how you want it, you can go down to File Format and select Cricut. Then click Create. It's going to ask you if you want to donate. You can, or if you don't want to, it is free. Then select Download and save it to your files. If you want to add a window or a cutout, you can do that in Design Space. First, you're going to select Upload, Browse Files, and it's really nice when you save it through this website because the score lines and cut lines upload separately. It does upload as a group though, so you're going to want to ungroup the lid from the base and then ungroup the score line from the outline. Then select the score line, go to Edit, where it says Basic Cut, you're going to select the drop down menu and change it to Score. It's going to change to a dotted line, that way you know when you click Make It, it's not going to be cut. Then you can put the score lines back where they go and reattach them. Before I do that, I want to add a cutout, so I'm selecting a heart shape and putting that on the lid. Once everything is how I want it, I'm going to reattach it all, that way it all cuts on the same mat. If you want a window or a different kind of cutout, you can do that with the same process that I did the heart. You can see now the mat says score and basic cut. That way you don't have to move your paper and it'll all be perfectly lined up on the same mat. You're going to select your material and it's going to tell you that there should be a scoring wheel and clamp B, but that is not what we're using, so we're going to select Edit Tools and change that to the scoring stylus. If you are using the wheel, of course you don't have to do that. Don't forget to load your material upside down, that way the fold lines are on the inside. Then you just fold all the score lines and glue the little flaps inside the large ones. And now you have your little gift box.